All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Jeff Renier. And Jeff, we're yes. seeing kind of like this misty weather, but is that even having any kind of an impact on some of these fires? You know, uh, in the short term, it definitely is going to help, especially for those fires off to the north. The fire over the Sequoia National Forest, though, down here, they're not going to get any help out of this. But all of those fires burning uh, up here near Redding, Red Bluff, and Chico, they will be getting helped out from this storm system. Look at this. Totals already a quarter to one inch up into those fire zones. All right here. Here in the Bay Area, not that much, but 500 of an inch here in Bodega Bay and 300 of an inch in Sausalito. And as we all know, we will take every single drop we can get. So we're getting cooler temperatures. That's helping some increased humidity and some of these spotty showers, at least into the North Bay. So all of those at least helping again with the immediate fire danger. Now this system is starting to fall apart, but let's get you into Storm Ranger mobile Doppler radar and we can show you a few of those spotty showers now approaching Santa Rosa again. So look for some light shower activity. Uh, but the best possibility again over the fire zones where right now our storm ranger and Doppler radar are showing some rain exiting Eureka now headed towards Mount Shasta and the Fawn Fire. Also rain over Redding and a little bit there through Chico. So this area will continue to see the best possibility of rain through tonight. Now additional totals about a tenth to a half inch here. So great news there for the Bay Area. You can see we're in this light blue color and that's just a trace amount of rainfall again as we continue through this evening. Now, as we push it ahead into tomorrow morning's forecast, we are going to be drying out from this. I do anticipate a little bit of cloud cover to start. You can see it right here at 7 a.m. And then after that, we are going to get some crystal clear blue skies tomorrow. The way the pattern's setting up, it would continue to push any smoke from fires way off towards the east. So all in all, I think once we head through tomorrow, we got a really fantastic Tuesday coming our way. But we are going to start off on the chilly side. As that system exits, it's going to get cold back behind it. Down here to 54 in the South Bay, Tri Valley at 51. Also, coming in with 50 in the North Bay, a little bit of wind, and it's going to feel like the 40. So, definitely bundle up, wear the layers as you get yourself ready and those kids ready for school tomorrow morning. Daytime highs, well, we'll go up a couple of degrees for the afternoon, but I still think we stay in that uh, comfortable category. Right up here to Cupertino, 75, down to Morgan Hill, we're also in the mid 70s. Through the East Bay, not too hot, 79 in Concord, 75 in Pleasanton, right over to Oakland. 69. We have 70 in San Mateo, 74 to Palo Alto. Let's bring it up to San Francisco, 60s across the board and through the North Bay, 74 in Napa, 68 here in Mill Valley. My seven day forecast in San Francisco does have things warming up eventually by this weekend with some low 70s moving back in. Otherwise, pretty steady and through the inland valleys, we will get hotter 90 on Thursday. 94 by Saturday and then looks like this 90 degree trend will drop off once we hit early next week. So no more rain chances in the next seven days. But uh, Janelle and Jessica, once we hit mid to end of October, it really still looks very hopeful for maybe a system to bring a quarter half inch, possibly even more. So we're looking ahead towards that. Okay.